Well, hi there. Um, three wines we're going to look at today. Uh, the first is uh, a Tempranillo from Rioja, uh, produced by Conde de los Andes. Now, Tempranillo, we've all seen a lot of Tempranillo, Tempranillo over the last how many years. Most of you would be thinking of or have drunk the tend to be the value end of Tempranillo, and that's the way Australians now or tend to think of, of this great variety. However, there's Rioja and there's Rioja. This is probably a, a type of style of Tempranillo that you haven't looked at. It's structured, it's tannic, it's deep fruited, it's powerful, yet there's finesse. Now that's not normally words you would talk about Tempranillo, but this is. Um, oldest cellars in the in the region so the vines are over 140 years old in some areas uh, thus the ability to produce such a a, um, a structured and, and um, type of wine the winemaker was out in melbourne three months ago i had the opportunity to look at hit this range and he had a 1976 on open exactly the same label this wine, 1976, and it blew everyone away about how incredibly perfect and pristine this wine, the wine looked. Sure developed and sure old, but no way on earth if you were in a blind tasting would you ever have picked this as a 1976. You know, mid 90s perhaps, that's it, but not that old. So I, I, I have seen it, I'm confident, if you drink this wine now, and I would just suggest you decant it for a couple of hours before you drink it so you, it opens up, you know that you're going to be able to confidently sell it. I've seen the, the evidence. Um, I bought some of this myself to put in the cellar because I, I trusted it, um, and I'm just going to have to keep my hands off it because I can see where it goes in the end. But I'm fairly confident you'll open this wine, look at it, and go, oh, yes, this is completely different to Tempranillo I've had in the past, a cracker of a wine.